38 plays 29. Well, those are two magic numbers when you put them together. 183 centimeters plays 188. 185 plays 190. I don't know what any of this means, but uh, I don't know which way this will go. No one's making any predictions here. All I know is it's going to go with a big, big bang and could very easily end up bringing ground zero here at the Ergo Arena in Danks. Round one. Both guys have really good boxing. I mean, they set it up in different ways for MMA. So watch out for the hands early. This one's either going to be over quick or it's going to go deep. If somebody gets clipped, watch out for it to go to the mat too. Well, Shemishlev Mashahala looks the heavier fighter, I have to say. Ivan Erzlan looks slightly less bulkier. The build, not as thick set, but that doesn't mean anything because uh, we know Ivan Erslan is tough, he's tenacious, and you just have to look at the undercarriage, look at the thighs. Look at the thighs there, they're twice the size almost of Mashayala. So we know that he's carrying some real power right through the heel, into the knee, into the thigh, and right across into a right hand. Searching left jab, finds the target, and uh, Mashayala, well, tentative coming forward here. This is your weight category, Christoph Szyzinski. What do you think is going to happen? Um, well, right now, just a nice, just, the guys are taking their time, feeling each other out. Ursland with the first combo. He's using his jab really, really well. He's setting it up first, he's using that jab, just get his timing down. Michelle hasn't thrown a single punch yet. Just waiting for him to get ready, get going. There it is, finally, first two jabs. Well, for 38, he looks in great, in great shape, doesn't he? Shemeshlev Mashayala, he's on his toes, he's moving, he's bright, he's very focused. There's uh, an age difference here that really, well, you know, defies the performance of Mashayala here. But that searching left jab of Ivan Erzlan trying to make head road. I think over distance, Shemeshlev Mashayala might struggle, but the respect that both fighters are paying each other slightly causing some annoyance with the crowd here. They want to see the action being brought on. But I don't blame anyone for trying to open up here because any move will be a mistake. Big right hand by Erzlan. But uh, all for nothing. A couple one of thing things. Oh, God, Chris, I'm sorry. Uh, one thing I noticed really quickly is we'll each look at the fighters, each right hand. Ursland keeps his right hand right by his chin, and Marcella keeps his hand down. I think that's going to be a big prob problem for Marcella later on in this fight. That was exactly what I was going to say. I mean, he's got a more conventional guard, whereas yeah, Michala yeah. kind of throws some looping angles. But I think also the, the second thing I'm seeing is Michala fainting the level change, which could set up an overhand or something. So yeah. there's differences in the way they're deploying their hands from him. I mean, that's exactly what I was picking up on. Well, I'll tell you straight away from me, the wear and tear is beginning to show on Mashayala. He's starting to blow a bit, and uh, Erzlan knows that. He's moving, he's agile, he's making uh, Mashayala keep up the uh, steps on the old uh, step counter there. He's putting in some mileage here, chasing Erzlan, but he's getting, making inroads and getting some success. The left hand coming in, great evasion there from Mashayala. He dances back on his back uh, right foot there, out of reach. This is going to be a struggle for Mashayala over distance to keep up with Erzlan, much younger, much fitter. And Erzlan also has pro boxing experience, so I mean, there's a certain dexterity and conditioning to this type of fight that favors him, I think. But Mishala, I believe, wants to open up the takedown, as we saw earlier. Well, he better goes and he does it. I was just about to say, he's going to want to take it to the mat. And that was the accent. But what a great bit of escapology. Erzlan gets back up, bounces back up, and now the work begins again. The second his hips went down, the second he bounced to the cage, he stood right back up. It's that explosive return to the feet that you need. When you're fighting a guy who, if you give him an inch, he'll take a mile. He's a black belt. There is a gulf between these two guys on the mat, especially when he just got submitted by Narcoon. Oh, for sure, absolutely. Erzlan did a great job of, as soon as he touched, like you said, did those knees down on the floor, he got him right back up. Really, really smart. Well, that was a crack, and that's caused problems. Mashal is down. Erzlan will want to cap capture the moment here pile on the pressure. In trouble, there's the big right hand and he's down. There's the referee stepping in. It's a TKO. Mashayala hits the mat. So nice. Such a great, great fight by Ursulan. Just patience. That first three minutes, taking his time, using his jab to set things up. Got his timing, found it, used his right hand, dropped Marsala. Very nice finish. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by TKO. Ivan Erslan. 
Herslan takes the win in the first round. Thank you.